Hey you guys, it's Anna Haferman, and uh, today I want to show the difference and similarities between the Brother KX350 and the Silver Reed LK150. Now, these are pretty much the same machine, so, uh, but there's a couple small differences. I just want to point those out here. So first of all, we will notice that the LK150 has these little things on the needles and the KX350 doesn't. Uh, that's, you know, I don't know if that, how important these are. I don't usually have trouble getting the, you know, pushing the needles either with my fingers or a tool, but uh, that may be a consideration for some people. Then, uh, there's the gauge, and the LK150 is six and a half between the needles, and the KX350 is seven. So it's slightly different, but that's probably not enough to make a difference in your projects. They generally can handle the uh, same yarns, but um, KX350 may be slight, you know, slightly bigger yarns. Now, uh, another thing is the clamps. The LK150 comes with these two clamps that you clamp under here and to your table, and that's fine. The KX350 has these that slide open and then you clamp them down. So I think the KX350 wins for that just because you are not able to lose them. And you can still set the machine flat because they fold up. So I feel like, KX350 for the win there. Now, uh, cast on combs. The LK150 comes with three of these. And then these two little connectors. And these are nice and heavy, and uh, you can use each one individually or clip together and hook a weight onto this part, whereas the KX350 comes with only two of these. Uh, they're the same. I mean, they go the length of the bed, but you end up hooking them together. So you're slightly less, uh, you have less, um, I don't know what you'd call it, but this is a little less uh, c convenient because sometimes if you're doing something small, one of these might seem too big. They're still fairly weighty, but the one thing is that the connector is attached, so you can't lose that. But I'm going to vote LK150 on these just because I like the aesthetics of these and to be able to use one or two or three. And hopefully... I won't lose my connectors. So, LK150 gets that vote. Um, then there's the row counter. The LK150, you can set it either way. There's a lot of fluff on that. And then the KX350, you have to go in the direction of these arrows. So, that is slightly more annoying so I'm gonna vote LK150 again so I hope you're keeping track I'm not sure um, the yarn tension masts are about the same so either one is fine although this one part with this you hook the yarn in through there it occasionally gets uh, hooked on that this one you just go through these little things here so I like that one better. In terms of the instruction books they both give you about the same sort of information. I believe the LK150 kind of walks you how through how to make a sweater. The KX350 actually came with some patterns that um, I don't actually have 
available right I have some I don't know where they are um, but that's one they're a little dated and either of these manuals you can download online for free so I'm gonna say that's a toss-up then over here here's the tools that came with each one and um, yeah, I think they each came with two weights and um, I think the LK150 had a ravel cord, the KX350 did not. LK150 had this gauge measurement, KX350 didn't. But the basic tools are pretty much the same. This is a 3-1 um, needle, needle pusher. Uh, but it's 1-3 on that side, so that's useful sometimes, but it's pretty much the same thing because you can either select 3-1 or 1-3. This one is 1-3 and 1, I think it's 5. So that one, the KX350 gives you one more option, which I'm trying to do that with my left hand. And uh, I like that better, so I'm going to vote KX350 here. Gauge swatch, if you uh, gauge ruler, if you really want one, you can order one. This one would work for this, or you can just do a math formula, which is pretty easy. So I wouldn't let that sway you. Um, and then the um, carriage. So here's where there are some differences. The LK150 has a gauge going up to nine if you're knitting on every needle and then it has this for if you're going on every other needle but people get really confused and think that there's some way to like move it so that you can do something different but really six and ten are the same position so um that part i just kind of ignore if i were going to knit every other needle i would just Oh, well, I'm using six, seven, eight, or nine, and just ignore those numbers. One thing I find a little interesting and weird about this is that the dot is way over here, and I expect it to be here, but that's just me. So the uh, KX350 does not have that. Now, the KX350 came with rubber wheels on the bottom, which I think makes it work really well. Whereas the LK150 came with a br with brushes. I actually changed mine and put rubber wheels on it, and I'm much happier with it now, but it did have little brushes. And I found I was getting the yarn caught in it a lot, so I changed it. Um, these are cheap. I can put a link as to where you could order those. Uh, I really prefer the KX350 for that. And then the levers on both are the same, except they're just marked differently. So on the uh, LK150, you get a triangle and a circle and a one and a two. And that's confusing to me here. On the KX350, you have N, which is normal, P, which is part or pattern, uh, H, hold, and normal. So, um, personally, I think that's much more straightforward, but if you, they do the same thing, so you can actually mark your uh, LK150 carriage and do N, P, H, and N, if you're following a pattern for the KX350, or you could also do this, if this confused you, you could just do a circle, no, I'm sorry, that would be the triangle, sorry, triangle, circle, one, and two. So that part, um, if it's just a matter of getting the right, you know, figuring out what the levers mean, you can always do that. And I drew that in with washable marker, which comes off really easy. So don't, don't do that permanently unless 
I mean, unless you really want to, but um, let's see. So the KX350 has, it's actually 130, it's actually supposed to be 66. One of my needles is missing. So that's 132 needles. And this one's obviously 150. So this actually is less needles, a slightly bigger gauge. So you can get almost the same amount of room on it, but this has more needles. One thing is the KX350 is really easy if you can find a second one, and they're actually, I think they're kind of easy to find. This comes in three parts. I think you can see a little line there and a little line here. So there's three sections. So if you get, if you found a second one, it's really easy to, um, to take the, uh, Take them apart and add to your bed. So, but you do have to have a second one. You just really have to unscrew that and add the second piece on. And it's not super complicated. Uh, the LK150, first of all, they're more expensive. And I'll get into that in a second. So, this actually has one piece here with um, 5, 10, 15, 20. 25 needles, then these are 50 and 50 and 25. So you could add uh, a second, I guess you could add two more of these pieces. I've never done it. So you could add to this easier. The main issue there is price. These LK150s, which are still made and are new, are for about $450, give or take. The uh, Brother KX350 is only available used, so you can get them for, just depends, you know, what you can get. Generally, on eBay, they go for around $200, but you can find bargains, so you can get a better deal. You can find used LK150s, but they often go for a lot more than that. So, uh, if you can find one of these and don't mind doing a little work because you're going to have to change the sponge bar, I have a video on how to do that, then you can get a pretty good, um, pretty good bargain with one of these. But if you don't want to do all that and you want a machine that's going to work right out of the box, you can buy a new LK150. Now, the one feature that the LK150 has that the uh, KX350 doesn't is plating. So you can put a second yarn um, in here. I don't think you can, it's hard to see, but there's a second slot in there. So you can get a second yarn in and do plating, which means that the yarns go on top of each other. This one, you can't do that. I've tried to make it work, it doesn't. So um, there's that. I uh, personally find that they both work pretty well. Um, I have done projects on the same project on each one and they generally come out about the same. I find you just have to decide if what is right for you. So if you can if you want a bargain and you can find one of these at a good price, then go for it. And you'll definitely have to do a little bit of maintenance. Uh, if you'd rather just have something that's easy right out of the box and not, you know, $450. If that's in your budget, then go for this. So thanks very much and uh, like and subscribe.